mortar. It's the glue that binds. It's the silent hero in countless structures. We're about to journey into the fascinating world of a special type of mortar slow set refractory mortar. Imagine a material born from fire, capable of withstanding intense heat. That's refractory mortar. Now imagine it setting slowly, giving you ample time to work. That's the magic of slow set. This isn't your ordinary mortar for sidewalks or walls. This is a specialized material for specific demanding applications. Think about the inside of a furnace, a fireplace, or a pizza oven. We're going to break down its secrets, understand its uses, and learn how to wield its power. Let's begin our exploration. In the grand cosmic dance of construction, heat is a powerful force. It can forge and it can destroy. Refractory mortar stands as a crucial intermediary. Imagine constructing a furnace. Intense heat is its very purpose. But without a way to contain and direct that heat, it's chaos. Enter refractory mortar. This special mortar binds bricks and stones together, but it does so much more. It withstands temperatures that would turn ordinary mortar to dust. It holds its integrity, ensuring the structure functions as intended. Whether it's harnessing the power of fire for industry or the warmth of a hearth at home, refractory mortar plays a vital role. The applications of slow-set refractory mortar are as diverse as the galaxies themselves. Let's explore a few key constellations. Industrial furnaces, where metals are melted and molded, rely on refractory mortar to line their fiery interiors. From ceramics to bricks, kilns depend on this specialized mortar to withstand the high temperatures needed for firing. The cozy warmth of a fireplace or the inviting glow of a fire pit wouldn't be possible without refractory mortar holding the structure together. Yes, even the culinary arts benefit. Pizza ovens, reaching searing temperatures, use refractory mortar to create their heat-holding chambers. This is but a glimpse into the vast universe where refractory mortar shines. Its ability to withstand extreme heat makes it indispensable across numerous fields. What is it about slow-set refractory mortar that grants it such resilience against extreme temperatures? This question has intrigued scientists and builders alike for years. The secret lies in its carefully engineered composition, which allows it to perform under conditions that would cause ordinary materials to fail. The answer lies in its unique composition. Unlike regular mortar, which might crumble or degrade when exposed to high heat, slow-set refractory mortar is designed to endure. The foundation of this mortar is not ordinary sand. Instead, it uses specially selected aggregates that contribute to its heat-resistant properties. It's made up of special materials like fire clay or crushed fire brick. These materials are chosen for their ability to withstand high temperatures without breaking down or losing their structural integrity. These aggregates can withstand incredibly high heat without breaking down. This makes them ideal for use in environments where extreme temperatures are the norm, such as furnaces or kilns. Just like the cosmic forces that hold stars together, binders give mortar its strength. These binders are crucial in ensuring that the mortar remains cohesive and durable under stress. Calcium aluminate cement is a common binder, chosen for its ability to set quickly even at high temperatures. This rapid setting property is essential for construction projects that require quick turnaround times. Think of these as the subtle influences that fine-tune the mortar's properties. Each component, no matter how small, plays a significant role in the overall performance of the mortar. Additives can control the speed of setting, improve workability, or enhance its resistance to specific chemicals. These additives are like the final touches that perfect the mortar's capabilities. The precise blend of these ingredients creates a mortar that can withstand the harshest conditions, making it a true marvel of material science. This blend is the result of years of research and development, aimed at creating a product that meets the demanding needs of modern construction. Section 5. The Choreography of Application, a Step-by-Step -step Guide Applying slow-set refractory mortar is a dance between precision and patience. Let's break it down. 1. Preparation is key. Just as a rocket launch requires meticulous checks, preparing your surface is crucial. This involves not just a visual inspection, but also ensuring the surface is structurally sound and ready to bond with the mortar. Clean it thoroughly, removing any debris, dust or loose particles. This step cannot be overstated, as any contaminants can weaken the bond. 2. Mixing the mortar. Follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Each type of mortar has its own specific requirements, and adhering to these guidelines ensures optimal performance. 
Add water gradually to the dry mix, using a slow speed drill with a paddle attachment to achieve a smooth, lump-free consistency. The key here is to mix thoroughly, but not too vigorously, as overmixing can introduce air bubbles that weaken the mortar. 3. Applying the mortar. Using a trowel, apply a consistent layer of mortar to your surface. The technique involves spreading the mortar evenly and ensuring it adheres well to the surface. The thickness will depend on your specific project. Generally, a layer of about half an inch is standard, but always refer to your project specifications. Press the mortar firmly into place. This step ensures that the mortar fills all gaps and voids, creating a strong bond. 4. Placing the bricks or stones. Carefully position your bricks or stones onto the mortar bed, tapping them gently to ensure good contact. This step is crucial for the alignment and stability of your structure. Maintain consistent spacing between them. Use spaces if necessary to achieve uniform gaps, which are important for both aesthetics and structural integrity. 5. Curing time. Patience is a virtue, especially with slow-set mortar. Rushing this process can compromise the strength and durability of your work. Allow ample curing time for the mortar to reach its full strength before exposing it to heat. This can take several days, depending on the environmental conditions and the specific mortar used. Remember, the exact application process may vary depending on your project and the specific type of mortar you're using. Always be adaptable and ready to adjust your methods as needed. Always consult the manufacturer's guidelines. These instructions are designed to help you achieve the best results and ensure the longevity of your work. Section 6. Safety, a universal law, even for mortar. Even when exploring the universe of construction materials, safety remains paramount. It's not just a guideline. It's a universal law that applies to every aspect of construction work. Let's highlight some crucial safety precautions that every worker should follow to ensure their well-being on the job site. Protective gear. Just as astronauts don spacesuits to protect themselves from the harsh environment of space, you need to protect yourself from the hazards of construction. Wear gloves, safety glasses, and a dust mask to avoid contact with skin, eyes, and respiratory system. These simple items can prevent serious injuries and health issues. Ventilation. Proper ventilation is crucial, especially when mixing and applying the mortar. The dust and fumes can be harmful if inhaled in large quantities. Work in a well-ventilated area to prevent the buildup of dust. This not only protects your lungs but also ensures a safer working environment for everyone around. Handling. Avoid contact with skin and eyes. Mortar can be caustic and cause burns or irritation. If contact occurs, flush immediately with plenty of water and seek medical attention if necessary. Quick action can prevent more serious injuries. Storage. Store the mortar in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight and moisture. Proper storage extends the life of the material and maintains its effectiveness. Keep it out of reach of children and pets. This prevents accidental ingestion or contact, which can be harmful. Remember, safety is not an option. It's a fundamental principle. Every step you take to protect yourself and others contributes to a safer work environment. By adhering to safety guidelines, you ensure a smooth and successful journey through your project. Safety measures are the foundation of any successful construction endeavor. Section 7. Troubleshooting when cosmic alignment is off. Even with the best laid plans, sometimes things don't go as smoothly as a rocket launch. Let's troubleshoot some common issues. Problem. Mortar drying too quickly. Solution. Work in smaller sections, mist the bricks or stones with water before applying mortar, or consider using a mortar with a longer working time. Problem. Mortar cracking. Solution. Ensure proper curing, avoid rapid drying, and check for movement or settling in the structure. Problem. Mortar not adhering properly. Solution. Clean the surface thoroughly, dampen it slightly before applying mortar, and ensure the mortar mix is the right consistency. Remember, even experienced builders encounter challenges. The key is to stay calm, identify the issue, and seek appropriate solutions. Section 8. Mortar in the Grand Scheme, a Lasting Legacy As we conclude our journey through the world of slow-set refractory mortar, let's reflect on its significance. This seemingly simple material plays a vital role in shaping our world. From the industrial furnaces that forge the steel for our cities, to the cozy fireplaces that warm our homes, refractory mortar is an unsung hero. It enables us to harness the power of heat, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. 
Its durability ensures that structures stand the test of time, leaving behind a lasting legacy for generations to come. The Roman Pantheon, with its awe-inspiring dome, stands as a testament to the enduring strength of well-crafted mortar. Section 9. Conclusion. Mortar. A universe of possibilities. Slow-set refractory mortar, with its ability to withstand extreme heat, opens up a universe of possibilities. It's a testament to human ingenuity, allowing us to create structures and objects that push the limits of what's possible. Whether you're a seasoned builder or a DIY enthusiast embarking on your first fireplace project, understanding this material empowers you. It allows you to make informed decisions, ensuring the success and longevity of your creations. As you embark on your next project, remember the silent strength of slow-set refractory mortar, a material that truly stands the test of time.